Um, welcome to the Scientist Room. Hope you are all doing okay. Today we are taking a look at Phosphor 3, the marvellous Phosphor 3 from Audio Damage. Super simple synth to, to use this. Just sounds great, though. It's all additive. All you're doing is stacking sine waves and then doing cool stuff to them. Well, not just sine waves. You can do, well, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, but it's it's very nice. And also the marvellous Quadravox, Qvox from Eventide, um, which gives us uh, four harmony layers. And it's really easy to program as well. These, um, you can, let's see, you can just make it sound lively. <laughs> Um, but so this this first patch I've got, which is called Cool Beans, in my user presets here, um, is basically the mix is all the way down in Quadravox. So it's just the patch that I've messed around with in Phosphor. Drum computer's marvellous, Stephen. So here's the... I've got my little key step, 37. So I'm going to blend between the, I'm going to, I've set it up so to use the ribbon to morph between the two states sort of thing. So you'll see. Yeah, and I can't wait to have a go with that FAC drum kit. I don't know what it is. Now the thing to pay attention to is here what happens when I start to bring the mix up to these different controls here. You'll see that they're going to move across the point of these lines so this 11th will change the octave will change so the fourth will stay the same and the minus 12th will stay the same these are your tone divisions if you like um so now you'll see that on the delay group it's A, B, C, and D, and they're equally spaced. Okay, and then you'll see we have a 12, an octave, a minus a minus a 12, and then an octave above, and then a plus a fifth, and, and then just minus a fourth. We have the delay timing, really, which is basically for delay D, and this is a, a maximum at 7 sixteenths. You can set this to be uh, manual as well. You don't have to use it in, in a, um, a synced capacity. It will run in, you know, just if free running if you like. But now what happens when I press a C? And then an E. How cool is that? Seriously, though. And this is all to do with, it sounds so lovely because the delay grouping is split equally. Now, you'll see that I've got it in, in my mode is minor and my key is C. If I play a D on the keyboard, it ain't going to sound right. So I would, if I was playing in the key of D, I would clearly set my key to D. And then when I play the D again... It all fits in lively, you see. And this is what you've got to do. So if you're a guitarist or a keyboard player or whatever, just make sure you've got your key and your mode that you're playing in set correctly. And Quadravox will do the rest for you. You don't have to worry. Of course, you can completely mess this up. If I go back to C minor, I'm playing a C note. Up here now, where we have our pitches... So I just played an A, so that wouldn't be right. So we could run up to my favourite key of A. Huh. 
I don't think Quadrifox is designed to make it play easy chords. Well, but if you want to play chords, <laughs> if you want to play chords, of course you can. You don't have to delay, but this is like for guitars and things, you know. This is what it was originally designed for. Delay, delay D, which is linked here. So if we take all the delay off, right, all we're going to get is, is the harmony. Yeah, well, it, it does work. You're you're absolutely hundred percent right, but that's not the, not the point of the app, is it? That's like saying I'm using Quadravox because I'm too lazy to play chords, but that's not why I'm using Quadravox, is it? I'm using it to create interesting tonal variations and different pitches between the notes that I trigger on the keyboard. See, now the grouping is cool as well so delay group we can change how this triggers so a and b together c and d slightly delayed Well, I can play properly well, but I still use pitch shifting effects. No, oh, isn't he? All oh, right, okay. <clears throat> Beautiful. It's it's a beautiful thing. So there's a little bit about Quadravox, which we shall uh, dig into a little bit further. And then we have a mix between A and C, and then B and D. So... And then B and D. Hi, Daniel. Super, super cool. Uh, um, so, yeah, it's very easy to set up as well, obviously. For instance, if you wanted to have anything change, just engage the actual light and then make adjustments that you want to occur. And then. So I'm just going to go back to my Cool Beans patch to give you a, a practical demonstration of that particular thing used with a, with a fast running sequence. This sounds really, really cool. And this is something that, that I could never, ever possibly play and probably most human beings couldn't. So if I run this sequence now... And then I engage...
And that's one of the cool things you can use pitch shift in for. Okay, so <clears throat> I also have here a, a, um, a crystals. Doing a patch, which is really nice. What flex does in crystals is pitches up, pitches up, pitch A and B by an octave. Right, I'm gonna. Excuse me. Let's have a look at phosphor. So phosphor. Let's start with Super Simples. Is there a kind of a default patch here? I'm not sure if there is, but it doesn't matter anyway. We can we can easily make make a default patch. Um, I'll leave it on that one. So let's take all modulation out and delay. And I'm going to take this back to 16. So. So. So all you're doing is stacking up sine waves, basically. And what Chris has done, apart from, apart from give us all the, obviously, presets and stuff, is... To my thing on is give certain settings that react uh, a bit like a saw, a triangle, a square. Give certain settings that sound. So if we set them both to. Just kind of give this some sort of. Um, Some sort of boost, you know. I'll just put some uh, RS comp compressor on there. So you can hear what happens. So this next one would be like a triangle. See, very simple. It's 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 almost a sine wave, apart from this tiny titchy harmonic that's been added. And you you can mix between the two the two oscillators the two voices if you like by oscillator level and then oscillator level on this as well but you know you don't need to worry about that you can mess around with anything you like of course you can kind of just and then there's a, like a square wave setting. And then after that, you can you can double up then with thirty two of these. And really draw in an infinite number of um, possibilities. It's kind of endless, but it's very fast how it works. It sounds almost like a what is it? A clarinet kind of thing you could. And then we have this randomize feature. So let's 
Let's do some sound design. So this is your basic. Let's play. Glad how, how glad to see you well, Doug. Yeah, I had a terrible a terrible night, Russ. I was really not very well at all, and um, felt pretty pants all day, to be fair. But not that bad enough that I can't do you know some stuff. So here's, here's this, right? So now we, we've got two LFOs, we've got a delay, two delays and the master, uh, and we've got portmanteau as well. But before we start getting into the LFOs, let's have a look what else we've got here. So we have our envelope for both our oscillators. And what I'm going to do for oscillator one, I'm going to... Now you hear? And I'm going to take the attack up for that one as well. And I'm going to leave it linear. And let's run some release. Turn the release curve up a little bit as well. So the curves, you've got good control over logarithmic, uh, um, exponential and linear. In fact, everything in between, to be fair. If you look at the... We've got a, a attack curve here. So uh, logarithmic all the way down to full exponential and everything in between. And let's take the release up a little bit for this one as well. And the curve. And the sustain. And let's increase the decay time. Very nice, very nice already. It sounds quite, quite different than what it was. And then further along here, now we have this the cross modulation is very very cool but it can get completely completely out of hand so you want to be unless you're creating special effects you know you you don't want to be going too too nuts with that and i'll show you why um so first of all we have the oscillator transpose for both oscillators And then fine tune between each oscillator, which will detune the oscillators, which will give us a nice chorusing effect. And then you have noise for each oscillator. And then this kind of... I think it's like a, a bit reducing kind of thing so so very nice there now look let's do the cross mod the cross mod is cool see what listen to what happens This makes a big difference when you have this little Space Invader switch to hunt. So let's put, so we're cross modulating now oscillator one with oscillator two. Well, listen to what happens. Right, we'll turn that off for there and then. Turn it off for there, but if we turn it back on for there and now cross modulate this, this is where it starts to get crazy.
which is just nuts. So not something you'd want to use on a daily basis. Anyway, so moving down to the LFOs, the LFO, the LFOs, the falafels, the falafels, the LFOs are always engaged, so you don't need to root them anywhere. Your level is what your your where you're gonna hear hear it. So now with them, you have two choices. You, you can switch off the the rate is is synced to the BPM, not necessary for what we're doing. So we can turn that off, and you'll see it goes into into hertz. So we can do that for all of these, including the delays. So we're going to milliseconds for the delays and hertz for the LFO. Now if we turn LFO one's level up now. We've got some different waveforms. To be honest with you, triangle is probably better if you want a zoom zoom, a really smooth, smooth one. But if you turn LFO2 up now, change the speed. If we add that synced now, what we could do is Very cool, which brings it over to the. Now we have nice portmento as well, poly, po, poly or mono. Definitely make a, a drum sound anyway, because you've got you could the noise. Hi Jade. engage some delay let's run it through crystals
awesome. So let's. So that's how you 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 make a patch. <clears throat> it's really easy. There's not a great deal to have to worry about. So you 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 know you can really easily get down to creating some nice sounds as well. And basically, we could save that as an effect if we wanted to. But you know. See this, this sound. If we turn the delay off, that's all it is. But listen to what happens when we put this through crystals. Now all we're hearing is the affected mix. Remember I told you the flex takes up the pitches by an octave? Think about this, right? is is this is brilliant. Yes, Jade. 
Joe nicked the key step today and used the key step. <laughs> Steve in the 37, this one. Joe had finished with it before I, I started using it. I was going to use the other little one. I didn't need a big keyboard to play anything for this. It's just really one note. stuff and just that. There you go. A tutorial on how to program phosphor and tutorials on messing around with quadrivox and crystals. Um, from the Eventide um, pitch factor algorithms. And the pitch factor is apparently arriving Tuesday, I think, because it's taken them absolutely ages and ages and ages to get me one. Because uh, the stuff comes from America. 
from Eventide, and they send me, they send out the stuff for, uh, the t you know, the bloggers and that from from their office, sort of thing. So yeah, flipping it, can't wait. Brilliant pedal. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I have felt absolutely pants today, to be fair, and but you've got to keep most of the time if you can do something, it's best to actually go and do it, you know, instead of kind of just. Sitting there feeling sorry for yourself. It's uh, always better to try and do something. I mean, obviously, sometimes people get too sick to actually blink and do anything. But yeah, um, oh yeah, I do, I do too. Apparently, it's one to two days and gets worse than that. Like today and tomorrow is kind of the worst of it. But um, yeah, actually, my my arm is not. My arm is a little tiny bit sore. But only the same as it would be when I had my flu jab. So nothing nothing drastic there. Just a general feeling of... Do you know what I mean? Didn't feel great. But not enthusiastic-wise. I feel enthusiastic. Oh, that's... Oh. How cool is it? Seriously, though. Yes, exactly, Russ. It's a very small price to pay, and I'd much rather feel crappy for a few days than not have, not have had the Astra AstraZeneca ride, bro. thing to remember is to have it set the correct key so C minor I'm playing C minor but as soon as you play out of key gonna hear it you know that is absolutely brilliant I'm gonna save that it's with the uh, even tide does it have quad I don't know what that means Bo It's four, it's four pitched delays. Well, it's not four pitched delays. You don't have to have them delayed. You can actually just take all the delay off and play just like a harmony. So yeah, you can play it like chords. Like what I was saying at the beginning. I love that though. That's really nice. Guys, if you're watching, please strike the like. Um, really does help the video if you haven't already struck it of course <laughs> yes even tied quadravox uh, but I don't know I don't know does this have I don't know what you mean by does this have quad it's just the, it's got four pitch lines Thanks, Jade. Sounds a bit like a sitar, doesn't it? It looks different on the PC. It's, uh, it's exactly it's exactly the same, except they have these three controls underneath.
to get that nice effect, it is just split your delay groups so they're equally equally split, you know. Like that. But it's good. I'm going to use that. Awesome stuff. <laughs> Right. It doesn't stop me lifting my drink up, though, my arm. That's the most important thing. That would be a disaster. <laughs> um, Okie dokie. Don't know if I can how to keep that. Ah, right, non. Right, no, listen, listen. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you now, non. I'm glad you said that, right, because the other day when I did, look, I'm going to show you something. Um, I'm going to go to interrap, interrap audio a minute. The other day when I did my video about um, Koala Sampler, right? Um, I made a, an, the error at the beginning of the video that I said, uh, the only, I mean, I love Koala, you know I do. And I says, the only, I said, the only thing that you can't do is when you record, you have to record like that. Or do you have to record like that? But you don't, you don't have to hold it. If you go into this little menu here and go into settings and you see where it says hold to record in settings in the general part, just switch that off. And then what will happen is you can just hit it, let go, da -da 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 -da, start playing your guitar sort of thing. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. And then you've got your, you can just hit it, let go, da -da 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 -da, start playing your guitar sort of thing. And then you can just edit it to start, etc. And you can just hit, you can just, you can just hit it, let go. You can, you can, you can, you can just hit it, let You can just hit it, you can just hit it. You can, and it sounds like it's, I've got auto detect as well so yeah you've been using weights oh my god <laughs> brilliant that's a freaking good idea though isn't it i think by the sound of it it might be auto detect as well it's just um da -da 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 -da. oh look da -da 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 -da. it 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 uses the chop function uh, there's the there's all your first part of it there but it it detects the transient at the beginning da -da 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 -da. that's really really great great stuff yeah so that's how you do it and that was uh, something i should have i you know was gonna point out next time i did a koala video Yeah, it's interrupt audio. It it record. It will record. It will record. Um, if you put it in the, uh, um, if you put it in the, I think it'll work in the effects. It will interrupt audio. I'm not sure, but you can. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can. It, there is a way to do it. It's your yeah. Auto trim is very good. It's very cool. I like that. It's nice. Does that saves you having to kind of find the beginning of the. Uh, um, beginning of the actual sample, you know, sort of trim it by hand. But uh, yeah, effects a lot of work for you. Yeah, I'm sure I'm, it's very, it's highly likely. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so you can record from the effects lot or play from the main, the main output as well. Anyway, guys, listen, I'll let you say ta to each other as a, uh, for a few moments. Thank you very much for joining me. Bless you all. If you like the video, like I said, can you please strike the like it helps uh, promote the video and also if you're not subscribed please subscribe you know cost you now to subscribe or if you want to um support me and joe and what we do you could become a patron or make a one-off donation uh, everything is is very much appreciated here and um, actually money is rubbish this time of year on youtube so you know 
It's uh, really, really, really appreciated. Anyway, bless you all. And I will hopefully, all been well, see you tomorrow. I'll let you say ta to each other now. Ta-da.